I'm not nervous. Um, I'm, I don't live here, so. Uh, Jennifer, I, you've made me laugh so fucking much. I just like, God damn it. Uh, thank you for getting knocked up and you're beautiful and thank you for recommending my clips. Um, and uh, I love Ellie being like, thank you for like loving real people and she's like a fucking supermodel. Um, Like the little uglies, like you found us. I am. Um, <laughs> I'm probably like 160 pounds right now, and I can catch a dick whenever I want. Like, that's the truth. <laughs> it's not a problem. It's not a problem. You said we could take our time, right? I don't have any. Um, Somebody on the red carpet was like, do you feel like out of place? And I'm like, no, of course not. I'm, look at, like, I'm very glamorous. Uh, I, I didn't lose my two front teeth until I was in fifth grade, which is late. And um, that very same week, I got my period. which is early. <laughs> so I was just like this jack-o'-lantern with tits walking around, just like, ah, like trick or treat. And uh, and I had one of those moms that was like, you don't need to shave above your knee. So just a werewolf, just. Christopher Robin just here down and and, uh, and and glamour thank you so much Joe glamour has been so nice to me just any any comic in the room knows that when a female comic has a photo shoot they're like oh cool like can you hold this like plastic dick over your head and we're gonna like shoot um, like actual come out of it onto your head and you're like oh thank you yes and uh Right? They're just like, oh, you're gonna be like a cum dumpster, and you're like, oh, thank you for having me. But, uh, <laughs> Glamour, you're the, it's the, they're the first magazine that was like, smile. And I was like, where's the dick? And they were like, no, <laughs> just be you. And, um, Glamour's given me a lot. It's, Glamour has given me a voice. No joke. I, uh, the first time I, I told this story about, me going home with a guy um, freshman year of college and like think well going home with him is being like very kind I thought <laughs> I thought he was calling me like in during the day to hang out but then it turned out that he had been out all night and he was in a blackout and um, and I told that story just about like losing your self-esteem and then just like finding it and being like no I'm not gonna apologize for who I am and I'm gonna actually love the skin that I'm in and not be like striving for some other version of myself. And yeah, and I, and I make fun of women's magazines a lot because they're just great fodder and you know, some of them make you feel bad for just being born with a pussy. They're just like, they're like, get your pussy that new car smell. And you're like, what? Hang a pine cone from your clit and you're like, okay. Um, like, Right? Some of the guys are not even remotely smiling. And you know what? <laughs> I don't live here. I don't care. <laughs> Tonight, I had one goal, and that was to just be able to take my underwear off at the end of the night and have it not look like I blew my nose in it. And. <laughs> And don't look disgusted, guys, because your underwear looks like a coal miner wiped their brow <laughs> at the end of a shift. Anyway. <laughs> I am so grateful to be here. I've never been here before. Um, our family vacations were like to Tijuana and uh, 
I want to thank Joe. I want to thank Glamour. I want to thank um, my publicist who left. Um, oh, hey, I'm like, makes sense. I can't believe it hasn't happened yet. And my, my, uh, my younger sister, Kim, who we do everything together, and we made this movie, and it's all about any secrets I've left. And, uh, man, I want to really thank Goldie Hawn, who I just have loved and has made me laugh so much. And to be that beautiful and vulnerable and fucking hilarious and a boss, it just, it's been so inspiring. Um, yeah, I feel like I've burned all the bridges possible. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.